In this video, we're going to see how to have images embedded in pivot tables. So this is a new feature that's just been released in Excel. So as you can see here in this pivot table, I have a field for the store location in different countries. And I have the flag for the country here beside the country name or the store location. And as you can see here, I'm able to move the flag from the rows area to the columns area. And this is not restricted to country flags. You can actually insert any image and embed it into a pivot table. So we'll see how to do that in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So in order to embed images in pivot tables, you will actually need to have the images embedded in cells in the data set that is the source for the pivot table. Here is the data set that is the data source for my pivot table. And I have a column here that is the flag column. And this flag column is looking up the flag from this table here where I have the store location as the country and the flag. So in order to insert the flag, there are actually multiple ways to do it. So for example, here for the flag of Canada, I can insert it by going to the insert tab on the ribbon here and under pictures, you will see here an option to place in cell. And this is a new option actually that's been released in Excel to place an image in a cell. And the source for the image could be from your PC or from a mobile device or from the stock images or from online pictures. So you can choose, for example, online pictures and you can search, for example, for Canada flag. And here you will have a flag of Canada here. You can just select it and insert it and it will be inserted here into the cell. So that's one way to do it. Another way is if you have a link for the image. So here I have the Wikipedia page for the flag of Canada and I have here the image for the flag. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the image address. So I've copied the hyperlink for the image and now I can use the image function. So equals image and I will give it the source as the hyperlink and I'll just paste it without the active content here between double quotes and then the other inputs here to the image function are optional inputs just to manipulate the size for the image but I'm not going to input them so I'm going to close my brackets here and press enter and as you can see here I managed to get the image for the flag and this works for any image really and also inserting pictures here in the cell would work for any image not necessarily only the image of a flag. All right, so we've seen two ways to insert images into cells, and these are not restricted to images of flags, really. They can be used for any image. However, I'm going to show you a third way, but this is going to be restricted to flag images, which is by using the geography data type in Excel 365. And all these ways, by the way, are exclusive to Excel for Microsoft 365. So to do that, what we need to do is to convert these names for the countries to the geography data type. We can go to the data tab on the ribbon and click on geography. And this will make them of the geography data type. And this will actually ruin our X lookup, but we can fix that. So now they have the geography data type. So even if we delete the flags here, we can just highlight these cells containing our countries. And then we're going to click on this button here to insert data and we're going to select image. So when we do that, you can see here that the images of the different flags have been inserted. So what we can do is that we can copy and paste values. So as you can see here, now we have just the images without formulas and we have text that says image of whatever the country is. And you can notice as well that Ireland has become the Republic of Ireland instead of Ireland. So that's a small aesthetic change here. We can change it back to Ireland if we want, and I'll show you how. So now that we have the geography data type, we can just remove the data type and just have them as text back again. So right click here and click on data type and then convert to text. So now we have them as text and you can see here that the X lookup that looks the flags has now worked and again except for Ireland because it's now the Republic of Ireland here but we can just change it back to Ireland and you can see here that now everything works and we have the images for the different flags of the different countries. So now we've managed to insert the flags of the different countries or the images that we need into the data set that is going to be the data source for 
our pivot table and as i told you the first two ways can work for any kind of image really not just a flag image so it can be the image of a person or any other image but then the third way that uses the geography data type only works for flags and all these ways are exclusive to excel for microsoft 365. All right, so now we can start constructing our pivot table here. So as a best practice, you should always create Excel tables out of your data sources for your pivot tables. So I'm gonna press Control and T here after selecting any cell in my data set, and I'm gonna press OK here to create an Excel table. And now I can insert a pivot table based on that Excel table. So insert pivot table from table slash range, and it's identified my table here. I'm gonna insert it into a new worksheet. And as you can see here, the pivot table has been inserted and I can put the store location here on the rows area and the flag and I'm going to put the sales amount here and what I'm going to do under the pivot table analyze contextual tab here after selecting a cell in my pivot table I'm going to remove the plus and minus buttons here and then I'm going to go to the design tab here I'm going to go to report layout I'm going to make it in the tabular form and I'm also going to remove the subtotals so as to get to this final shape for my pivot table and I can also change the sales amount to be a currency the number formatting is going to be a currency with zero decimal places click ok and ok again and now we have our pivot table and the flag field can be moved to the columns area and you can just manipulate the pivot table just like any other pivot table and if you're not comfortable with working with pivot tables I have multiple videos on the channel here that explain pivot tables in detail. So I have a video that explains pivot tables in like 10, 15 minutes for beginners. And I have two videos where I show you 20 advanced pivot table tricks, 10 tricks in each video. You'll find the links for all the videos down below in the description if you'd like to sharpen your pivot table skills. Also, if you'd like to take your pivot table skills to the next level by supercharging your pivot tables with DAX formulas and building data models in Excel Power Pivot, you can take my Excel Power Pivot course. I'll leave you the link for the course down below in the description with a special discount. Now let's talk about the availability of this new Excel feature for inserting images in pivot tables. So this feature is currently available in Excel on the web and it's also available in Excel 365 as long as you are enrolled in the insider program and in the beta channel. I'll leave you a link down below in the description on how to enroll in the insider program and in the beta channel. So it's currently not available for all Excel 365 users yet, but hopefully it should be available for all users soon. All right, guys, so that's it for our video today. I hope that you found it useful. So if you found the video useful, I'd really appreciate if you could like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all of our future videos and please make sure to follow us on social media you'll find the links down below in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video